Jamie Vardy and Gary Cahill announced their retirement from England today. What did you make of the timing, particularly for Vardy, Ollie? Well, I suppose <clears throat> in some ways it's in some ways it's obvious after a World Cup where he didn't, you know, where Harry Kane uh, won the Golden Boot and he's very much playing second fiddle. Uh, He's whatever he is, early 30s, he's got a young family. I suppose that's the kind of thing we're seeing a bit more often now with the amount of time that players are spending travelling, mm. um, the increase in the fixtures. I understand it. I think my, my regret about it is that we're not overly blessed with attacking talent. Uh, we're slightly thin on the ground up well, front. What happens if there's an injury to Harry Kane? Well, yeah, we're, 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 I mean, I think, look, if you try and look on the bright side, you say, hope that Marcus Rashford will get uh, a few more chances. But I think the, answer, the basic answer to your question is that we're struggling. Neil, if you were Gareth Southgate, would you be round Jamie Varley's house, making him cups of tea, yes. getting his slippers? <laughs> I wouldn't make him a cup of tea. I may take him out for a paint. And yeah, I was going to say. Doing yeah, everything on. to try and change Absolutely, his mind. Absolutely, yeah. I think he's, he's 31. Mm. And he, he, he came into football late, mm. Mm. so he's still made of plenty left in his legs. He looks as if he certainly has plenty left in his legs. His goal record for England is very good. His goal record for his club is very good. I think one criticism of Gareth for me was not using them, utilising them more at the World Cup with his pace, and especially when the games were getting stretched in extra time. I thought, you know, having Vardy on the bench would have been a great substitute to bring on. He did have a little I, injury in the middle of it. I, I am. I feel sad a, a little bit for any player who retires, but for one so young, he still has so much to offer. I get all the personal stuff as well in terms of his family and, and time with the family, but I think it's England's loss. But also the way he plays, he's probably thinking ahead. He he puts so much into the way. You know, he, he relies on that sharpness and that pace. And if he keeps, you see, travelling around, I did it a lot. I mean, I, I was in all the squads and just kept watching England play. And he he's only started four games. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's a long... <laughs> no, I get it. I, I get it, Murph. And, and do you know what? There's something else as well that might sound a bit drastic, but I think there's, some, there's, there's, there's something in it. I grew up... All I ever wanted to do was play for Liverpool. You know, and it wasn't... England was a bonus, you know, and, and it was one of the proudest days of my life, and I, and I was proud to do it. But my time with England squads... And you, you'll, you'll get players coming out and saying the obvious stuff right now. I think it's a mentality, maybe, in our country, that the club... Is, is priority and more important and what you do there. We shifted that way. And playing yeah. for England isn't... Um, I don't know, I can't talk about other countries, but it yeah, seems but to me a little not, bit... But it's not playing for England. If he was playing regularly, he would probably, it, the club wouldn't necessarily be in front. You don't see... No, but he's still thinking about his club career. He's not hmm. thinking, I'll do everything to play for England whenever the chance comes. No. The player's I... mentality, in, when I played and in the squads, you know, OK, big tournaments are different, but qualifiers, friendlies... People talking about the game on Saturday. Or, you know, like, you, you, they're thinking ahead. Do you think maybe that, I, I don't want to romanticise it too much, but that shifted back a little bit mm. at the World Cup? Yes. Yeah, there was a feeling of, of England yes. being a tight knit group. But, but again, didn't, Gareth, but... didn't Gareth, there was a couple of players, wasn't there? I mean, I, 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 I think I was talking to Jermaine Janice about it, and he was saying that, that a, few play, and a few players, depending on who they are, of course, got rewarded for their... I mean, Livermore stayed in a squad, didn't he? When he come back off a holiday, yeah, he was on standby, got called up, left his holiday, came. I don't think Drinkwater did. He didn't get put in another squad. Right. I think Southgate was is is very aware of that, and mm. I think he's trying to ship. And I think one of the reasons England supporters are so on board, again, with Gareth and the squad, is because of that. What you yeah. say, him trying to make it. Special again. So, yeah. very quickly, do you understand for exactly the same reasons why Gary Cahill has made the same announcement? Well, it's different. I think Gary's keys is different, yeah. He's nearly 60, 60 summit caps. I was going to say nearly 60 then. 60, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 61, well, that's 61 me. caps. 61 caps. He's not in the Chelsea first team. Um, he's got How old is he now? I think he's 32, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's still young. Still yeah, but he's got every young. right to want to focus, knuckle down and be at Chelsea and be available and, you know, just, just, just get himself playing again. And he wouldn't be picked anyway if he's not playing, would he? No, he wouldn't have thought so.